In Bowling Green, people are still in shock this morning trying to understand what happened. Our Gladys Bautista shares the story of a community fighting through the devastation, coming together to survive. Where I'm standing in the Jennings Creek neighborhood is where homes once stood. Throughout the day, we've seen the community here come together in the face of overwhelming loss. The clear sky over Bowling Green Sunday only illuminated the magnitude of the devastation. Cars flipped upside down, debris in piles, homes and lives shattered, 12 lives gone. It's heart wrenching. For Freddie Williams, the destruction seen and the loss felt hits close to home. The shock is just now wearing off me, really, to be honest. Uh, I've been in shock for ever since it happened. Williams and his family took shelter in their bathroom when the alerts came to his phone. He says it was a frightening and life-changing experience with noises. It sounded like a, just a train rolling down the tracks loud. And memories. I said, it's coming. I said, just relax. I said, we're all good. And you just felt the house just jarring. That when it was all over and he realized his family was spared, he will never forget. Then I started hearing the screams. You start hearing people scream all around you. Many of the screams came from the block behind his, where homes once stood. Williams says he helped pull those he could out of rubble. But for the at least 10 people still unaccounted for, search crews, including more than 50 members of the fire department and over 30 National Guardsmen were still working Sunday, going through every piece of debris in this neighborhood, desperately looking for life. But Williams knows he is one of the lucky ones. There's a lot of immigrant families back there. Like I said, the, the Burmese family and the Bosnian family, they worked so hard to get where they got. And I said, now their life is just right there in a gully. This is a community coming together in force while reeling. Among the dead are children. The loss of the littlest lives is hitting these teachers whose students lived here hard. The thought of them going through this and I don't know what happened to them, especially the ones that were lost. Um, so all I can do is pray that they are in a better place than at that moment right now. And while this community needs our help right now, they are appreciative for the small things that are often overlooked. Some people can't help pick up and some people, you know, their health doesn't allow them to pick up and all you can do is give them a hug. And that means a lot. Moved by the very emotion that touches us all. We just, we just love them. Love, the language every heart needs and understands.